call your shout in the earth with the hour of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Koji Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. This episode of Y'all of Days brought to you by Bit Africa. Download the Bit Africa app and use it to trade your Bitcoin. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and put us on post notification. Now, these videos have been trending on various social platforms. Uh, it was it was posted by GH Articles on Instagram and it was reshared on Twitter by Sika Official. Uh, yes, and the content will be some way be an a lot of people are talking about it, like, you know, dissenting opinions, various opinions. It has generated a whole lot of conversations, you understand? And it'll be about how some Ghanaian market women move to a Nigerian wage seller for organizing, you know, um, a hair fair or a wage fair at discounted prices. So your woman was like, nah, bro, if you have been to the market, and that is how they pay the matins. Don't call me, don't call me, don't call me. So as it go on, where the market women, the Makola market, the wig women, you know, the people they, they sell wig, you when know, a local mother, you know, they say now nah, they no go green, make somebody come out in country, come organize hair fair at a discounted prices, then collapse them a market. So as the thing they go there, you know, oh, then gather them about the way they go there, them and they, they made they made a scene, they created scenes. And all they are saying is, that, no, you can't do this. You are destroying our market. You are capturing our market. You are capturing our customers. Although it was a one-day thing, they say, nah, we don't go pretty make this thing happen. So, like, confusion happened and, you know, the back and forth and the noise and the insult and left eye center. Which is evident in the videos. Now hear me out. You see, we have laws in this country where you govern everything. With regards to this, they said the retailing business. It be only locals, Ghanaian citizens, who are entitled to embark or to undergo the retail business. It is in the law. I think section 2829 of the Ghana Investment Promotion said, uh, uh, Act. So the retailing business no, is supposed to be, you know, left for the indigents, the locals. So if you're a foreigner and you come to my country, you do not have the right to, you know, engage in retailing business. Although right now people have like the laws, they have not even broken the laws. Yeah. I'm see a law, no. I'm a law, no. And I'll, I'll get to that. So if, if this country in laws, they work, you can't come out, you can't come from some, you can't come from your country, enter our country and then back or engage in retailing business. Nah. So the market women voicing out their, you know, their grievances like that in that kind of manner, they have a point. If they lost the work, they, they will be afraid to even enter the market like that. But there is no what what uh, uh, barrier to entry. When it comes, our market is free. Barrier to entry, no day. Anybody go free enter, set up in, in prices, then operate. That is how things they work in this country. We have laws, but it's a lawless country. And so for that side, the market women have every right to go out there and vent their spleen. Although the way they went about the whole thing, they, you know, they beat me. Because I'm not sure a Ghanaian market woman will flip go, Nigeria go do that. So hear me out on that. Now the other side, listen, bro. The typical Ghanaian market woman, market man, seller is wicked. Bro, they will inflate prices. 
just to take advantage, just to, just to exploit the, the ordinary Ghanaian. And a lot of you people have experienced it. Bro, when 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 the dollar and the, the dollar and the CD they fight them are fighting, bro. You go feel enter store say so you go buy milk. Then you go go, oh milk where I my friend madam, if their price no more increase, I know. Oh, madam see an increase in price within two minutes, they go fit tell you say milk, milk, no, a tin of milk has moved from five cities to seven cities. We inflate prices. The typical Ghanaian who wants to sell this thing, this phone, one phone now when you're not better, or person or the profit needs to die. You want to build house from that pro, from, from, from that phone you they sell. So if the phone sells you five thousand, you go tell you ten. Laptop, laptop. Recently we inquired somebody they sell laptop for this country. We went to Amazon, then the, it be it be you know, I think it be two thousand, three thousand dollars. We come here, come beat the guy, bro. The thing they go, they go and they enter ten thousand dollars. How do you move from three thousand dollar worth of uh, laptop to ten thousand dollars? The import duty in the crowd here and those who are here ten thousand dollars. These are some of the things I'm talking about. So when you inflate your prices and the Ghanaians, where well, they, they won't buy, you know, they don't have money for them. When somebody say if they can't do hair fair, give them affordable prices, uh, they will go there, they will troop in. It is very simple. That'll be how human beings they operate. Because he can't afford yours. I am sure that some of these market women that went there to demonstrate to scatter everything for them. They have some of the wigs in their shop. Who could be so much and say, yes, this is the price. Meanwhile, they, maybe the Nigerian woman is selling it times what? Hey, hey, hey. It's not even selling times. Like, it'd be less. Half of the price. Nicola hair vendor stops priceless wig sales. My, 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 so you see, we now with the wicked one ourselves. So when you do it and they come here and they see the loopholes and they try to exploit it, bro, don't do that. Also, what prevented them from even but you see this thing I, I, I always talk say oh, I never see any oppressor where you get sense because if you if they really really want to do this, you go for buy them. Say you they sell them at a cheaper price, you go for buy like 100 and go put for your shop, then sell them at whatever price you want to sell them for. So until say we go stop, they take advantage of on our own people. So I'm not saying say start up a business and don't make profit. Now nah, you're supposed to make profit as a businessman, as a businesswoman, but reasonable profit. Come on, guys, reasonable profit. People feel inflate price for your face and say, ah, bro, what, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? They won't use one deal, one deal pending. They won't use one deal like. Sort them, my descendants, they're my families, and they're my generations forever. It is not cool. So let us look at this from both sides. Loss are loss. But the way when a market women they inflate prices, also then they hate competition. They hate it. They hate it. If you like go my dinner. Check Madina, the roadside there. All the small, small, small shops for the bees from Ikechuku, um, uh, uh, Amaka, uh, all of them did there. To me, that is my take on this issue. Laws are supposed to be laws, and we are supposed to enforce it. But you see, you don't go through watch my face take advantage of me, and when I have alternative, you, you vex. This woman go feel carry this thing, this this hair fair, this wig fair. Go Instagram. Just go open Instagram handle and say, I am organizing an online wig fair. People will still go there because you have set your prices at exorbitant high apex uh, Mount Everest prices. Me can't see many business need your skill, but bro, she, ah, with me the ah, ah Charlie. Hey, I say so, somebody go go. Hey, I don't want to mention names because I've experienced it before. People market to me for area. The ones where my shops did, my houses area. I'm going to come at dinner. I could talk one bowl of tomatoes. If you're quite a metal man, 50 cities. 
Big bowl. You come on. In shop where you did the hood inside and way people where they don't go go the market go buy. No, I'm not saying they don't make profit. This them go can't sell one tomato. Give you one CD. One, two, two CD, right? One. I think. Meanwhile, when she went to the market, Okotono at Abuja four. It's not going to see inside for your ordinary dining and you know, your like your your. Oh, come on, bro. Now, now, if Nigerian man can't sell shop for there, where they sell five for two cities, where you want me to go? Then you come out and come and complain, say they are taking over your market. Nah, let us let, let us be sincere, let us be honest about ourselves. And this wasn't the way to do the whole thing, bro. By the way, the Nigerian woman today, she they talk for the video. She said it'd be like, oh nah. You know what she did do? She she got people in the back comments and it's like, bro, she knows what she's doing. Say me, I'm a medical doctor, bro. This I, I make money in dollars, bro. See, they have the guts, they bro. You see, on you enjoy it. But if I do sales online this night, this minute, I'll finish everything in this Do you understand? Yes, I do week first just to reach out, just to see people. We have a lot of clients in Accra here, you guys. Okay, so what I'm just doing is to reach out if it is to sell and make money. I will make money online. I came to Ghana to do my birthday. I've not posted my birthday party. That is why you are saying 40 and priceless. You understand? So it is not my business, I'll be honest with you. I can decide to shut down this venue and go back today. God has done it like that. I'm a medical doctor. Do you understand? In the US, not in Nigeria. Do you understand? I make money in dollars. I can survive with my medical money. Do you understand? Yes. That is why I can decide to crash the prices like this. And that is what their problem is. It is not my problem. So if you guys let them to shut the place down, we shut it down. They will shut it down. They will shut it down. They will shut it down. They But hey, let me know what you think. Me, mom, the as I said, two sides to this story. Laws are laws, rules are rules. You understand? And the Ghanaian woman market or market woman who go in Nigeria go do this. But let us look at this thing critically. Me say the dollar Ghana CD fight in there. Where I see people them ahead from. Hey, people they power things like you go free enter shop. They tell I won't buy water. They will tell say water no day. No water you pack for there. I won't buy oil. You say what oil no day. You know, be all you she said in the way the next day price increase or also the be to so almost so I don't know then it ah you ah all you today be five CD the next day will go there you go tell you say the 15 cities how exponential increment obia padia fool obia padia fool system you might be nyam kwana mupiska so let us be honest with ourselves let me read some comments it's time to tighten the enforcement regime. It appears uh, trade reserved for the locals are now being overtaken by foreigners. Yes, another one there. Uh, the Trade Union Congress, nay, uh, what Ministry of Trade, yes, uh, that, that is their job. Their job is no be me, they can't do them. You know, as a Ghanaians publicly displaying their deficiencies in business is one thing, but hitting on comp competition is a bit low. Uh, having spent a year in Ghana, the average seller is not enthusiastic about making money. Secondly, their poor marketing and negotiating skills sets them apart. This is from Neka. I think she stayed in, uh, in Ghana, sorry, and she had th this to say. This is from Richie. Say, it amazes me sometimes when I hear Ghana tops uh, one of the most friendliest people in the world. But to be honest, Ga 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 the typical Ghanaian can be cold, sore losers, and all negative connotations you deem of. You know, as a Oh, this one they now. He say you inflate your prices everywhere and make them the standard. But when someone sells it for real price, you want to fight. He say we are never making it out of the shit hole. What is the meaning of this nonsense? This is a, the high cost of living in Accra is eighty percent traders and twenty percent government. High cost of living now you blame me and then you buying and buying eighty percent. You can attribute it to those traders. Almost to me, sorry, inflated prices. We don't have a price ceiling. Nobody's no, nobody is regulating pricing. Nah. Somebody will feel wake up because he had a bad dream, then go inflate some men prices. Yes. Sometimes I feel like that be how the, the shop owners in the do. Like today, I'm not feeling well. What should I do? Bob, from five cities to ten cities. Millet, 
from 10 cities to 20. Because the person is in bad mood, it just they inflate prices. Sometimes I feel like that we had and they inflate the prices. There is something called Alatafuja. Uh, it is the it is the Nigerian business model. Ghana man won't take one deal by house. That is why their staff are so expensive. And I, I said it in a video. Ghana man or no laptop we all turn or turn just what they need. We are see we are so frustrated in a turn laptop no. And the laptop when I hear let's say seven k or let's say six k oh ten k fifteen k. This is from you see. Let non Africans also come and do their hair. Uh, sales and let's see if we'll get the same reaction. Oh, okay, so you say make diaspora people to come do and make we see if when our people will move. I'm like, that. I feel like this is African on African crime. So they say make we try the diaspora people and see something. This is from Kofi Akwabo. I say authorities need to apply the rules. It is either you change it or enforce. Very simple. It is either you enforce the laws or you change it. Then I say, uh, fully say poor customer service, rude and arrogant. Yet they won't let others sell, uh, sell either. Silly. Yeah, so why them no buy them from here at discounted price and go sell it at their own price? Exactly. And come on, no matter to twelve. Ah, with me twelve hundred. Then you, you send it to your shop. Take it to your shop. Then you you resell it at the higher price that you want to sell it because the fair is not going to be there for a week. It's just one day. But you see, oppressors, no, so oppressors, they don't get sense. Yeah. Whilst it's being said that some Ghanaian vendors overpriced their goods. In the second video, the woman clearly stated that she can afford to slash her prices down. Is that not unfair to the Makola woman? I saw a screenshot of someone saying she also increased her price after. Okay, so we, this one says that we are supposed to study uh, both sides. You understand? They say, uh, won't the wise thing be to buy all her, pri uh, her prices, to buy at her prices and sell them at your price? Yes. This one says, they could have just bought her stuff and resold it. Exactly. So it goes on and on and on. But you see, after this, you know, I'm a born young. Then go carry a uh, system come put for there with them place on with them dance. Say yes, they have destroyed someone's business. Beautiful. Yes. Typical Ghanaian behavior for you. Yes, that'd be why we did where we did. And to, yes, uh, let me know what you think about this story. Me, they have said my own. If you are going to hate me after this, I don't care. But facts are facts. Uh, some of our people will be part of the problem. And see, more can uh yes no market uh, they are not supposed to be in the market to sell but when i people to almost they share trim my phone